Yo, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Jeremiah Peep. Well, even if you're not new here, my name is still Jeremiah Peoples. I'm a self-taught software engineer and I never really planned on becoming a product manager, but here, here I am. So when I worked at Space Force in Santa Monica, we also did pair programming, engineers to engineers, but something I wasn't expecting was we did pair programming with engineers and designers and engineers did you guess it? And product managers. So I learned a lot of product manager menti things that I wasn't really expecting to learn and I didn't quite understand why I was learning those things. But now I'm starting to come together. I'm, I'm getting it. After pairing with those product managers, I started to understand my users better, why we're creating stories, the way we're creating stories and why we're rack and stacking them. So fast forward to now, I'm back in Florida and I'm with my team. I'm primarily a software engineer, but I do a ton of other stuff. I speak at tech conferences. I do some product design. I tap dance if they need me to. And last but not least, I do a lot of product management. And I think it's important for everyone on my team, the developers, the product managers, and the project managers to be able to know how to conduct a user interview. Yeah, I get it. Typically developers aren't really the ones conducting user interviews, but it's still an incredibly valuable skill to learn if you want to be able to connect and understand your users better. So if you're interested in learning how to do a solid user interview, I'm gonna do a video on it. Um, now, so keep keep watching. There's like five-ish steps in this whole thing, so stay with me. Step number one, figure out what portion of your application or portions you wanna conduct an interview around. These user interviews, user engagement should only last about an hour, so you probably won't have time to test your whole entire application. There's probably some areas in your application where you might be unsure about, pick those write a script incredibly important so you can stay on track and properly guide your user throughout the whole entire flow of your application you don't want to be bouncing all around so next up is number two select a specific user to make the selection intentional i bet there's a broad span of people that are going to be using your application so it's important to have a variety of different points of view maybe someone who just started with the application one who's been using an application like this for many many years so make it a point to try to find representatives or users from each one of those groups so that your feedback that you get about your product is Hold. All right, this is a tip. It's not really a real step, but um, I'm gonna give it to you for free. It's just, it's be human. Try to have a good time and make them feel as comfortable as possible. Not everyone is super comfortable being watched and having to explain their thought process as they do regular activities. It's important to make sure it's a relaxed environment so they're comfortable with you. And again, you get the best data possible from your user. This next step is crucial. You're gonna wanna make sure you head below this video and just leave a little thumbs up for me. It's gonna help me, it's gonna help the channel, it's gonna help the community. Next up is one of my favorite parts and it's gonna be the spiel. You're gonna be a bit hands off and talking differently throughout the user interview. Nah. I'll just, I'll just do a spiel real quick, hold on. <clears throat> Hi, it's great to meet you. My name is Jeremiah, I'm a developer on the team and I'm gonna be leading this user interview today. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your experience using this application or applications similar to this? My name is Doug, I've been doing this job longer than you've been alive and I hate software. It's confusing. Well, that's great. You're exactly the type of user that we're looking for. So we're super interested on how you personally would navigate this app. So I might ask questions that are intentionally vague to get a glimpse into your thought process. And following up on that, there's literally no right or wrong answers. We're just here to see how you think. All we ask from you is before you click on a button or go to a new page, pause for a second so we can ask you what you're expecting when you click a button or what are you expecting to see when you visit this new page. Number four is a silent four, more of a preparation thing. You're gonna wanna make sure you're properly set up to collect all the data that you're gonna get from your user. I highly recommend having at least one person go with you so they can jot down notes in the background and you as the primary driver in the user interview can continue the interview as they take notes silently. I get it though, sometimes you're not always gonna have a team to take notes for you in the background. So if you don't have that team, make sure you're recording your audio or have a transcript transcribing platform. I think Zoom has an add-on feature. I could be wrong, um, but look into it if you're going to be doing these user interviews by yourself. That's the end of foe. I were rolling up on a little half section. We'll call this the don'ts. You're doing this user interview, this user engagement to see how they think. So do not lead them on. Hey, check it out. What the? Is that not the best messaging system you've ever seen? Yeah, it's, it's dope. Right? I'm gonna quote you, I'm gonna quote you on that. While that was obviously super exaggerated, a slight lead on looks something more like this. Yeah, next up, you kind of wanna see how you would edit your profile information. So if you wanna head over to the top right gear icon and get started. I get that that might not sound super bad, but you're missing out on an opportunity to see if your user can find the gear icon in the first place. And then last on the don'ts is keep your little side notes to yourself. So if they're like, yeah, I had trouble finding that, note it down and then at the very end, you can talk about it so that you're not going back and forth and teaching them more about your application than their first impression. And last but not least, I think is number five. Just do the do, do the interview. Throughout this video, you may have picked up on some of the things that I do in a user interview. While doing the do, some of those things are ask open-ended questions, questions like, if you needed to log out of this application, 
How would you go about doing it? What do you expect when you click that button? Why do you expect that? Why didn't you expect that? Can you think of any way off the top of your head on how you would like to see this improve? I said five was gonna be the last one. I know, I lied. There's one more that I just completely forgot and that's asking them, if you had three magic wishes, how would you make this application better? So hopefully the things that are on their wish list when you ask them that question are features that are already in your backlog and working on. So them saying that they want that just validates that feature. Also, side note, when my channel was a bit smaller, I could easily reply to all of my DM asking me questions about my software development journey. But since my channel's been getting a little bit bigger, thankfully, thank you for the support so far, I created a Discord channel where like-minded developers can get together, share information, job postings, talk about code, talk about the desk setups, any, anything they want, honestly. I'll leave that link for the Discord in the description below. Server name, We The Peoples. So this was a bit of a different video, not as much software development-y, but more product manager-y. So let me know if you liked it in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and follow me on my self-taught software engineering and product managing tap dancing career. And like always, I will see you on the next one.